In NHL 12, players pretty much go the same speed, whether they're from a standstill or a glide state. This is in slow motion, but watch how the player is consistent with his speed. There is no explosiveness or the ability to have that quick first step. Here it is in real time. In fact, the defenseman can match perfect step for step immediately. In 13, you will have that first step, that acceleration. Again, in slow motion, Patrick Kane stops. The first step, explosive, gets half a step on the defenseman. And this is it in real time. So let's turn it over to Rammer. We don't want to just keep showing you videos all day. We're actually going to go into live software here. He's going to take you through some examples of explosiveness in NHL 12 as a comparison and then into 13. Thank you. So just so we have a good A-B comparison like Dean mentioned, let's take a look at what explosiveness or lack of explosiveness, as you guys know, um, that was in NHL 12. So like Dean mentioned, pay attention to Stan Coast in NHL 12 and what he looks like from a standstill, from a stationary position, and then also when I go into a glide and try and explode out of that. So there's explosion in NHL 12 from a standstill. Here's explosion out of a glide. Not a whole lot going on there. <coughs> Compare that to NHL 13 now. Go to 13 real quick. Pay attention to Stamkos from the stationary in NHL 13 and the way he's able to accelerate, explode out of that, get the top end speed quickly. And then also look when I go into a glide in NHL 13. And again, the way Stamkos is able to recognize there's pressure coming. I want to get to a spot and again explode out of that. So there is out of the out of the standstill. I go into a glide in the neutral zone. See D-man coming over and I'm able to accelerate again. So just quickly going to replay. Stamp goes out of the glide. Sees a gap that he wants to get to and is able to get on his horse right away, explode, get to a spot. So there's the difference between 12 and 13. Again, really just trying to capture the explosiveness in NHL 13 which we didn't have in NHL 12, which led to a lack of player differentiation. Thanks, Robert. So there you saw that explosiveness that